Hi, I'm Eric Slack, Senior Analyst with Evaluated Group. Today we're going to talk about converged and hyper-converged infrastructures and software-defined storage. These are technologies that are often part of an infrastructure discussion at IT organizations. In this short video, we'll go over these three types of solutions and how they fit into that discussion. Traditional three-tier architectures, compute, storage, and networking, can involve a complex design of these three resources integrated into a system that could take weeks or months to implement. Converged and hyperconverged attempt to address the need for infrastructure integration as a way to reduce deployment and operational costs in general. Converged infrastructures essentially bundle existing components into a rack-level solution, typically designed for a specific software stack, such as databases or web applications. Scaling is accomplished by adding more servers, storage, and networking components in a rack, or adding entire racks to the environment. Hyperconverged infrastructures, or HCIs, combine storage and compute into x86-based server chassis with internal hard drives and or SSDs. They create clusters of self-contained, typically homogeneous modules by connecting them all to an IP network, and then they scale by adding more modules, or nodes which also adds processing power in each node along with storage capacity. Most HCIs combine the physical storage devices on each node into a virtual pool using either a distributed file system or virtual SAN software. Also known as software-defined storage or SDS, this architecture is the heart of most HCI storage systems. In addition, some SDS solutions can be deployed as standalone storage systems, typically growing very large. HCIs are frequently used for consolidation in small to mid-market companies and in some enterprises, or for standing up dedicated applications. In general, HCIs scale more incrementally than converged and can be run by IT generalists. Converged infrastructures, on the other hand, are found in larger environments, typically replacing traditional three-tier infrastructures. They can scale larger, but usually require more specialized IT skill sets. For more information and to see how we can help you with these technologies, get in touch with us at Evaluator Group. I'm Eric Slack. We'll see you next time.